Hello, ladies and gentlemen, I'm the Marmoset, and welcome to Punch Club, The Dark Fist. It's the free expansion pack we've got, because this game's been out for a little bit. Published by Tiny Bill, the game by Lazy Bear Games, and we're going to play Punch Club. What is Punch Club? Punch Club is a slightly... It's a melodramatic... Um... Hardcore mode? No. No, I will stick it on normal. So, we are going to be playing as Danger Jarred. Because this is a game. Danger Jar? Danger Jar. Um, it, this game's got a lot of man in it, so we're... Uh, it's spelled Danger without an N in it, so a Dagger Jarred. Danger, Rage... Um, trying to think of something that's suitably melodramatic and over the top for this kind of period of gaming. I was going to go with Danger Jarred, but, um, yeah, Punch Jarred would be a little bit direct. Punch, Punch Jarred. Punch! Yes, let's just call it Punch Jarred. That works fine. Punch Jarred, go! Small children playing. Someday, you'll be better than me. Your potential is limitless. Take care of your amulets. You'll provide the future. Mom is calling you. Don't make her wait. Rain and storms. Man in a street. Man with red eye. Never, never listen to me. Death is the only choice. And shooting. That's not fair. This is about punching. You're not meant to be using a gun. Small boy. Cattle's father. Don't cry, son. You have to be strong. Stronger than me. Who gets shot. I promise you will train hard to not get shot. When the time comes, you will have to be ready to not get shot. Crying boy. So kid, you're alone now, just like me, sad cop. Your father let me ham when I was in trouble. So now it's my turn, I'll take care of you, deal? I may need to turn the tick rate down on the text so I can read it. And now we are a bum who sleeps on a couch. Alright, well that's ringing, so... Mouse based interface. Clickings. Hello? Still sleeping? Take your lazy eye off that couch and go to work. How's that for a plan? Ah. Okay, Frank. I'll do it. I've no idea who Frank is. Alright, I left the newspaper on the table. There should be some job offers. See ya. No thinking about jobs. I have to work out and have breakfast. We should go to the door that has been indicated. Push-ups. Well, it doesn't appear to be anything else in here. Oh, stony. Yes. Sports board. And that appears to be the A-team van. We shall now do some press-ups. All right. So that blue is agility, strength, and stamina. So doing push-ups seems to improve all of them. So that's health, 100% in fire P. That's our food. That's our mood. That apparently is clipping off the top slightly. And that's energy. We've got no skill points, very little cash, and it is the beginning of the amount of day. I'm assuming given it's like there's light in the rest of the side, it's not actually just gone midnight, it's just that's a period of time. So, yes, that's it. Show off those guns. Touch jarred. Go back into your house. Food in the fridge, one would hope so. In it we have soda, sweet and tasty, but not very healthy, so. That improves our mood a little bit, and our food a fair bit. And here we have frozen pizza. This improves our health, our mood, a and amount, but really does feel. So let's eat some frozen pizza. Look at the newspaper. This is smooth animation. Not the best job, but it'll do! Ah, oh, the map has appeared. So that's our character information. Fair enough. About the accuracy of one, which is agility, thrice agility divided by the, the sum of the others. Okay, so if you want high agility, you need to keep the other ones down. Energy regen is just your stamina. Armor is just your stamina. Perks and traits, no perks and traits whatsoever. All right, that's the character. Fight league, city, skill tree. Oh, okay, fair enough. So currently we have punch and kick. Not bad. Highly agility dependent, simple energy efficient, didn't get anything else. Apparently we've got some more. Alright, 
So we've got this. Alright, so there's a different way of the bear, slugger, fast paced, and meteor. Alright, so that will be strength, agility, and stamina. Put some pieces up here. Story! We have the beginning. Alright, so we've not got fast the beginning. Alright, so we can sleep on the couch, we can watch TV as a cat! Alright, so that improves my mood. Stop now. Get up and play with the cat. Oh, there's a cat, there's a basketball. Fish tank, apparently. Poke the fish. Apparently that doesn't do much for anything. So we can sleep, TV, fridge, closet, some shoes. Alright, so we need to city map. We are going to go to construction site. Um, we will take the time to go by foot. That probably would have been a bad idea. There's a raccoon in that trash can. We need your clothes, your boots, your motorcycle. That's a Terminator reference. Um, no, start a fight. Choose your skills that your character used in the first round. Fill all the empty slots. Skills divide in different tabs. All right, so we've got a fist tab, a foot tab, defensive tab, and then kind of other mixed tabs. The balance. Uh, these are probably tactics. All right, so we have a foot tab and a fist tab. We've just got this and this. We're a flat three ones. He's an eight five three. Called Big Bow. Big Bow versus Punch Jar. He's a berserker. Alright, I have a distinct opinion that this might be a little bit scripted. That said, we did do a fair amount of damage to the combo, and he's just absolutely wailed on us. Wow! So the way combat works, apparently, is I pick some stats, and then the enemy kicks me in the, hits me in the head with a baseball bat a few times. I should train harder! You should. You just got hit by a man with a baseball bat. So we've got our first fight just done. You finish your first right. Now you feel strange. Okay, it's because you got hit in the head. I saw your fight. That was pretty impressive. I've always had a pretty great ride. They used to call me legs in school. I'm a bit skinny, but I'm quick. Yes, I'm quick. Yes, I am fast. I'm going for an agility style character. Thin guy. Never be strong, but you're really agile. Receive extra damage, but dodge more often, okay? Person might have come over. Why am I following you, strange man? You're Mick. Okay, I met Mick. Visit a poo at his store and tell him I haven't got my delivery mug meat. Okay, good objective. Meet a poo. All right, that's Mick's office. So I better go to the story thing. Meet a poo. Meet Mick. You need to visit my Mick's offices. All right, we will go to Mick's office. Actually, no. Let's go via here. Walk. You have met a poo. He's the short opponent. Does he ever sleep? Hello, a poo. Tell him about Mick's delivery. Hi there, Mick. Hi there, Mick tells him that he's waiting for his meat delivery. Oh, okay. I'll take care of it. Okay, fair enough. I'm hoping that means Mick will have his meat. Wouldn't want Mick to not have any meat. So we didn't actually get to go to work. We just got... We met, we'd met Mick. Yes, we already met Mick earlier in the street when he was talking to us. So we got various outfits. Ninja Turtle. All right, that's, that's Indiana Jones. That's the Shredder for Ninja Turtles. That's Sub-Zero from Mortal Kombat. That's Donatello from Ninja Turtles. That's Raiden from Mortal Kombat. Casey Jones, Raphael, and the Turtle Shell, various punching trophies. A whole lot of bits and pieces all over the place. This man's got an old gym full of stuff. Let's talk to Mick. I told you before, you have potential. I can make you a champion. It's a long road. You have to take the first step yourself. I'm at a fight league in my friend's gym. If you prove your worth, I will train you. Go to Silver's gym. You can work out there if you're tired of doing it at home. All right. Visit Silver's gym. Short of money, come to see me and I'll feed you, alright? And uh, our response to this is to just finish. Share your wisdom with me. Most people don't look dumb until they start talking. Alright, that that's really useful. So we found a new place to be, which is Silver's Gym. Hi, Mick said I can train into a gym. Hmm, big man. Who didn't care about boxing anymore. This doesn't have to be boxing since they had the ability to kick. I am Silver, I guess you can try here for now, at least. Meet Silver. You met Silver. He's an arrogant. He'll be able to teach you something. Told you about our rookie league. You're welcome to participate. 
Alright, get fifth place in the league. Yeah, right. Do you want to spar with me? Uh, sure, why not? Alright, I suspect he, with a tri set of triple fives to my set of ones, is going to own. So we, I don't do much in this, I did you just wait. So he did it. Oh, he's got dodge and block. So we're costing him energy points right now. Uh, energy spent on hits. Power points require more energy. And that's health points. So we're beating him on the energy at the moment, but he is absolutely owning us. There's not much we can really change here. Just carry on, bro. Punch. Punch, punch, Jard. Punch! That's it. Carry on punching, punch, Jard. Maybe try this geek thing. No, no. I mean, given the current state of this, we have done a half decent chance of drawing. He's not hitting us. Nope. No, there he did. We're beating him really well on energy. I mean, if we get to the point where he's out of energy... Oh, he just got loaded back at the round turn, so... If he's out of energy, then he might not be able to act. Well, we're going to find out. Or else we knocked him down. Alright. Yeah, I think he might... Yeah, we're going to lose this on the edge. Despite the fact we've got him out of energy. Or repeatedly getting out of energy. We're out of hit points. There we go. Face full of mat. This is cystic. Alright, so... HP and energy. Showing that our HP crashed as energy crashed, but uh, we weren't doing enough damage. First number is a total amount of skill usage, second number is a probability of a hit. So we weren't kicking very accurately, but neither was he. Alright, fair enough. We lose! Not bad, but you're out of shape. I've been training my gym, not for free of course, but I'll give you a discount for knowing Nick. Alright. League fight, okay. Sign up. Next fight in two days. And we'll be fighting Song Mo, who is also a set of 111s. Okay. That's the gym. We've got some money, but we are kind of hungry. So I think what we will probably do, we will walk home. We will eat that pizza. Still kind of hungry. All right, and have the soda as well. Now yeah, that's not doing as much as I was hoping it would. City map. Yeah, by foot. Let's get some training on. Well, not immediately. Let's um. You got anything else? Oh, hand punch training. That might be a bit easier than the sparring fight. Um. Yeah, that'll leave us with some money. So one round of hand punch training. Fight. Alright, so he's not going to hit us back. This is just going to be us spending around doing hand pass training. Win! Oh, we've got two skill points. Even lot skill points! Thank you, you rather sleep-deprived paperclip. No, oh, okay, fine. You, you be a bad, unhappy clippy. Alright, so... Give you a chance to block enemy hits and the increase in the amount of damage taken. Dodge. Give you a chance to aid the enemy or tactics learner. Now you learn more details about fighting skills. How curious. Um, and that unlocks everything else. Interesting. Okay. Um, yeah, I want dodge. I only would get out of the way of things. We'll get tactics learner later. Be able to dodge, I think, will be able to do quite useful. Um, so we go in here. Pay the entrance fee, yes, ten dollars. So the gym. So we've got various machines, weight ropes, running. Alright, I'm gonna guess that that's probably stamina. Those are probably all strength. Those two look like they might be there, because the speedball and the punchy bag and the skipping rod. Well let's grab that one, because we have uh, said we're a skinny guy but quick, so let's focus on what we're good at. Alright, so that's a big thing. So this is costing us... So are these tick down in exchange for this going up? Alright, well we're just going to keep doing this for a bit. So our stamina, our speed is now up to this. We're going around to the end of the day. Oh, that's ticking down apparently. Does that mean the increase is getting weaker? It doesn't look like it's changing. 
So we gained 147 on that. We've got our next fight is tomorrow. Alright, so you do lose a little bit every day, alright? So we're gonna keep doing that. Looks like it's gonna tick out, so let's see what that does when it actually does tick out. Are you going to... Decide you've had enough of that. Alright, fair enough. Um, I'll go over here and do that. Ah, so that's a full bead. Alright, so that's obviously better. Oh, it's also giving us a little bit of stamina, which will help with our what we were saying was energy recovery, wasn't it? Also, and your damage absorption. Well, given we've took a trait, that means we're just that little bit weaker at doing this kind of stuff. And you've got the munchies. Do we have enough money for the snack machine? We don't! So it looks like we are heading home from the gym. Oh, such a shame. Alright, we should... Well, we're hungry. And as far as I remember, we're out of food. Ooh! Mick. Mick said you'd feed us. Ask about food. Here is your meal. Ah, good. Thank you, Mick. That means we can go to work and get some cash. Alright, so we basically this just ticks time. And it's boosting our strength. Alright, so we learnt from the character sheet that accuracy, boost strength and stamina, that our accuracy is well we can work it out. Our accuracy at the moment we'll just stop that. Oh, work anymore because you're too hungry. Alright, so our accuracy is this fight week. Oh we can take that fight now. And we probably will in just a second. So let's just double check the character stats. So accuracy was 1.8 at the moment, which is 3 divided by the sum of the other ones. The sum of them all. Alright, so our. Uh, so the higher we get that up. So at the moment that's 3 over 5. Okay, fair enough. Uh, let's see. We've got the opportunity to do it. Let's take that fight. Because we're up now up at 3. And I think I will probably want dodge and kick. That says that's a high agility dependence. So we are more agility. So punch charge versus song mo. Ten for round fight. And we've kicked him in the face. Kick him, punch charge, kick him. Kick faster, punch. No, don't get hit. Kick. 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 No, him wasting energy is fine. Him hitting you is not so good. Ooh, combo of four. Combo 6, combo 7, good. Keep with the kicking punch guard. Alright, that ran like, quite well. I'm pretty happy with it. Simply decreases chance to block an enemy hit, so increases the damage taken. That one means take no damage if you evade, so it's probably more difficult. That's it, just keep kicking. We've got 10 rounds. We're winning the health point, the hit point game. We're about equal on the energy game. Whiffs like that do are good for us. Come on. Go, Punch Yard! Kick! There's yeah, definitely a bizarre irony in the fact that we are called Punch Yard and our primary method of attack apparently is going to be with our feet. Alright, so energy is good. We're beating him quite nicely on health. Let's just keep going. Kicking and punching, kicking and punching, kicking and. Well, us Punch Yard doing the kicking and Song Mo doing the punching. Oh! Flurry of blows from our opponent there, all of them whiffing into thin air. Come on, let's get our first victory in a fight. Beaten up by a man with a baseball bat and an old guy with pads. Alright, so I'm pretty convinced we've got this. We've now got a slight edge on energy, and we are definitely far ahead on health points. Kick him! Kick him in the head! And then just kick him anywhere. I mean, most people, where are you? Kick him in the middle of the chest, mostly. And he's down! First victory for Punch Jard. So we picked up three skill points. Our mood dramatically increased, and we lost um, twenty of those things. So lead change has gone up. So yeah, pretty good on this. So thank you very much. I've been, <coughs> I've been the Marmoset. Ooh, sneezy Marmoset. He has been Punch Jard. He's got his first win. Yay! We are on our way to becoming part of the Punch Club. Yay! Please remember to like, subscribe, and comment if you want to see more random acts of violence in a pseudo, slightly sarcastic melodrama pixel game. Bye for now.